Hello everyone. On the demand of my students, I have collected some sample questions for introductory macroeconomics paper. This GE paper has four units. I have assembled the questions in the respective unit that would help you in your learning and preparation process. All the best to all of you. So the first unit is introduction to macroeconomics and national income accounting. First unit is divided into two parts. Number one is the measurement of national income and the second part is on the foreign trade. So in the methods of measurement of national income, you learn what are the three methods, the production method, the income method and the expenditure method and why the three approaches for the measurement of national income are equivalent. Then some concepts which you should remember nicely like real income, nominal income, difference between core inflation and CPI inflation, real interest rate, nominal interest rate, balance of payment, the current account and the capital account of balance of payment, what is official settlement balance, how serious is foreign debt? What do you understand by trade deficit? And what is the difference between balance of payment and balance of trade? Discuss the composition of foreign trade. And some short notes which you should prepare are like the topics on expected real interest rate, private disposable income, difference between GDP and GNP. What is GDP deflator? A very important question, chain weighted GDP, trade cycle, price indices and inflation. So prepare it well, measurement of national income and balance of payment in a long question and various these all short notes. So the unit two of the syllabus is on money. So let's see the questions on unit two. In unit two money, you can prepare some important questions like measurement of money supply in India. Then quantity theory of money. This is very important theory given by Fisher. Relationship between inflation and money growth. Then the impact of open market operation on the money supply in India. The sale and purchase of security is the open market operation and how it impacts the money supply. Relationship between the bond price and bond yield. And a very important question, explain the concept of money multiplier. I have made some videos. I have shared the link. You can see the link. Unit 3 is inflation. Where you can expect many questions from inflation. A very important part. Here, the some important questions are what is senior age? How senior age is responsible for inflation in the country? What is inflation tax? Explain Fisher effect. This is a very important theory. Learn carefully the Fisher effect. Explain the difference between X ante and X post real interest rate. Then the social cost of inflation. What is hyperinflation? What is Leffer curve and what is Tansy Olivera effect. Another important point is how hyperinflation is controlled in the stabilization program. Next is the role of monetary and fiscal policy to solve the problem of hyperinflation in the country and the government budget deficit. Why it is responsible for inflation in the economy. So in unit three, prepare the inflation part very well hyperinflation, senior age, inflation tax, Fisher effect, real interest rate. So these are the very important parts which you should prepare very well. In the part three only, you have to prepare that how global commodity prices are responsible for inflation in the country, explain the impact of crude oil price in the country's inflation. What is housing price index? What are the drivers of inflation in rural and urban area? Then seasonal movement in CPI. What is inflation targeting? This is very important. Then difference between wholesale price index and consumer price index and the macroeconomic policy that is monetary policy and fiscal policy. 
how it helps in controlling inflation in the economy. Another important is what is impossible trinity and marginal product of labor theory, which you should prepare very nicely the theory of marginal product of labor and explain it with the help of diagram. Explain the labor demand curve and explain the income leisure trade off for the labor supply curve where you have read that the supply curve of labor is a backward bending curve and how their management is done in the leisure and the working hour. So prepare it very nicely and why labor supply curve is backward bending curve. From the last unit, unit four, which is on the closed economy in the short run, you have to prepare the classical theory of employment Difference between Fisher approach and Cambridge approach to quantity theory of money. This is very important. Classical theory of interest, very important. The impact of government expenditure and tax on the demand and supply of loanable fund in the classical theory of interest. What is aggregate demand explained with the diagram and what is consumption income relationship? Another important is what do you understand by investment multiplier and the most important part of unit 4 is ISLM theory. Prepare it very nicely. How ISLM theory helps in determination of interest rate and the level of income in the economy. Explain the derivation of IS curve and LM curve. What is the difference between the autonomous investment and plan investment and how does it affect the shape of is curve this i have made a video you can see and learn from it it's very important what is the difference between the real investment and financial investment and how does real investment affect the shape of is curve what is the liquidity preference theory of interest and how does it help in the derivation of lm curve Explain the simultaneous equilibrium in the goods market and money market and derive the aggregate demand curve with it. Then how multiplier affect the shape of IS curve. Along with that you have to prepare some important notes on liquidity trap, crowding out effect. So these are the theoretical part. You also expect the numerical question on ISLM theory. So these are some selected questions from the four unit. I hope it would help you in your preparation. Good luck on your exam. Give your best. I am pretty confident that you can make it. My best wishes are with you. Thank you so much.